cake, yeah, hey, all about cake, yeah, hey, come and relate, uh, uh, come and relate. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Akila, also known as Keila Amazing. And today I'm coming at y'all with a video all about these distressed butterfly locks. So let's go ahead and hop right on into it. So this hair is from Toyo Trust. These are their butterfly locks. They are 12 inches and in each pack it comes with eight strands of hair. They do offer a bundle deal in which you can purchase eight packs for 59 bucks. So definitely be sure to link all the information down below. Today I'm gonna be at making a wig. I came across this braided wig cap and I have been so intrigued by these for the longest. So I just wanted to give it a try. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, definitely did want to do some individuals, but my hair is in the process of growing. We need something to grip onto. So we gonna get there, but in the meantime, we gonna make it do what it do. So this is what each strand of hair looks like. They do come pre-looped. So I'm gonna insert the crochet needle through the braid and then apply the lock, pull it down and then I'm only gonna knot this once. I do wish that the loops were a little bit bigger because I did have some difficulty getting the hair through the actual loop. Definitely keep that in mind when using this hair. Just take your time, be gentle, you know, take it easy. Another thing that I would keep in mind when I'm making any type of crochet wig is to use less hair in the back because the back is gonna end up getting covered anyways and you wanna make sure that the front looks as full as possible. To be honest with y'all, this braided cap in particular was not the easiest to work with. So if I were to do this again, I would either choose just a regular crochet cap or I would sew each lock individually onto just a regular dome cap. But listen, one thing about me is that I'm gonna work with what I got, so that's exactly what I did. It took me maybe about 45 minutes to make this wig. So right now I'm just gonna take some needle and thread. I'm gonna go ahead and sew the combs onto the U part. This is what the U-part wig looked like once I was done. I ended up using six packs of hair. I could have did seven, but I felt like if I did any more, it definitely would have looked bulkier, but I did have a few gaps that I did wish I could fill. I went ahead and added some individual crochet locks in the front, and I ended up using the rubber band method. I did not record that process because I didn't know what I was doing, so I'll definitely be sure to link some helpful resources. But I ended up doing about four individual locks in that U part area and then I just applied the wigs made sure that the straps were secure in the back and this is the final look super cute one thing that I really like about these locks is the fact that no matter how imperfect you do your hair because they're distressed it just doesn't look bad like I feel like it just kind of blends and makes it seamless it just goes like with the vibe you know what I'm saying so I went ahead and grabbed an elastic and some hair jewels so I could do a nice little half up half down look but overall y'all I really do love the look of this hair it's super natural it's lightweight and I just feel like this is like the perfect spring summer protective style like super lightweight and I love how distressed and natural these locks look these will look amazing installed individually but if you can't this is a great alternative y'all know me I like to throw on wigs put on head wraps on top and it's a look this is a different look for me but I am here for it I'm living for this boho vibe so I'll definitely be sure to link all the information down below so that you can try it for yourself as always thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one